back guys to CNP system. Today I'm going to show you a body shop tutorial and that tutorial is how to make long sleeves for a shirt. This is a really easy tutorial to do so I'm going to show you. So let's get into it. First you want to do is click on start. And you're going to go to all programs so you can find your folders. Click on EA Games and you're going to find the um, most recent Sims 2 expansion pack that you've downloaded. Mine is University. And you're going to click on the Sims 2 body shop. If you have a lot of custom content, this might take a little while to show up. I know mine takes maybe about five to ten minutes sometimes to start up. So, okay, here we are. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go to Create Parts, Start New Project, Create Clothing, and you're going to go to Everyday and Top. And we are looking for and. A, long, a short sleeve shirt, something like this. These one, these default shirts here I find are really easy to work with. So I'm going to be using this one. Now when you find the shirt you want, you're going to click Export Selected Textures and you're going to name it and you can name it whatever you want. Click Accept Project Name, it'll export and there we go. Now you're going to open up an editing program such as Photoshop, GIMP. I wouldn't recommend using Microsoft Paint. It's pretty bad for Alright, once your editing program opens, you're going to go to File, Open, and you're going to go to Documents, EA Games, Sims 2, and you're going to look for the Projects folder. And you're going to find um, the content that you named, and you're going to click on the second folder, and it's called Matte Base Texture Name Alpha. It's a black and white picture. All right, now, one thing you should learn about if you're ever going to change the alpha on any kind of custom content is if you make an object white, then the shirt will be longer. I'll show you right now. Okay, you can't see it because it hid behind the pants, but you can see that um, it's long in the back right there. But if you make, but if you make the alpha black, it will be shorter. Sorry, I forgot to do the back like so. All right, so. These three boxes right here, what we're focusing on, these are the sleeves for the shirt. What you're gonna do is you're gonna no, I don't like that. You're gonna make a box and I think about that length is good. And you're going to fill it with white. You're gonna click on save. You can go to body shop and you refresh. And there is your sleeve pretty much. find to make the length all the same on each side. It's taking this select bar and dragging it outward. There we go. And then you just make it to fit to the sleeve. Refresh once more and make sure the length is the same, which it looks like it's the same for me. Alright, now if you want, you can leave it black. I think it's a little awkward to leave it like this, especially since there are like some little like different colored marks on the top of it and everything. So I'm also going to show you how to add some designs to your sleeves. So you're also going to go to File and Open, and it'll open the file with your shirt. 
and you're going to open up the first file that says uh, matte base texture name and it's the picture of the shirt texture. Okay. Now for the sleeves normally I like to add um, stripes. And I'll show you how I do that. You have So you have a whole folder dedicated to stripes. And I feel like using red and black today. Alright. So what we're going to do here is select and try to make it about the same size you did for your sleeve for the texture. I would think that's good. You're going to copy and paste it. Zoom in a little bit. There we go. I'm just going to move it and try to fit it. I'm going to match it up to the edge of that black stripe right there. I want to think that fits. You're going to press, con you're going to paste it again, and you're going to match it up with this sleeve. See, it's a little bit off. You want the lines to be perfect with each other. And there we go, that's one side done. And just to be safe, I like to add it again. That way if we made it too short, it won't matter. Alright, that looks great. Next sleeve. As you can tell, this takes a little while to do, just because you want to try to get everything matched up as perfectly as you can. This sleeve does not like me. There we go. Alright, the last sleeve. body shop, click refresh, and there you have your sleeve. There you go, and you can do press F6 and with your model fold the arms out, just to check the size and to be sure that there are no problems. Alright, now once you're done, it says enter the tool tip here, and this is the, um, when you hover over an item, and when you're going to create a sim, it'll say like, this was made by so and so. You always want to put something up there that way someone knows it's your content. Ah, the NPC sim. And once you're all ready to in 